twice if you're in trouble. Okay, good. So you've clucked twice and need a little advice? Well, let's put all your eggs in one basket and cover off the best piece of advice I can give to you to ensure guaranteed success in your next cluck and bell farm frenzy. <laughs> Why did I say that? Okay, so for slush fun, just go straight to the unit, shoot the guys up outside and get that job done. There'll be a few guys each side, each location, and you'll have two or three inside waiting for you. Once you've begun bagging up the cash, someone's going to come out from the back and sneak up on you, but don't panic. He's going to politely wait there for you to finish stealing before deciding to shoot. And he's not the best at shooting, so feel free to do what you like to him. Once you're outside the unit and you've got the cash from both, just head back to Vincent's lockup and hand it to the guy who keeps stashed there illegally. Okay, so breaking and entering, you're going to be looking for the laptop, the hacking device and getting the train. Now, the laptop guy is furthest away, so I'd always recommend going to him first. He changes in both appearance and location, so you're going to need to check down all the alleyways, at the games machines and the huts along the side. Once you find him, his laptop should be just next to it. Next, you need to get the hacking device from the terabyte. I wouldn't worry about finding it as the drones are so loud you can always hear them. Once you've found it, take down the drones which are going to shoot you and get the device from inside. There's no enemies aside from the drones, so take it easy. Lastly, you'll need to get the train. Now, the keys are held by someone in the forecall almost every time, so I'd always recommend attacking from the railway. Head down the railway and approach the train front on. There'll be two guys at the front to kill first, and then you can get the keys and go from there. All right, next up we have concealed weapons. I would always recommend the military for these next two missions. They provide a suppressed shotgun, allowing for quick and silent takedowns, perfect for a stealthy approach and to fix any missed shots if you do make them. And the military guns and gear always appear to be at Sandy Shores Airfield. I would recommend if you have a sniper, picking off the people outside before approaching and then later closing in to clean up. Alternatively, just blow everything up with anyone nearby, any cars and things, and uh, close in afterwards. It should be no more difficult than attacking the mercenaries. Okay, next up is hit and run. As mentioned before, I would highly recommend the military car every single time. It's easy to take down in this mission and very capable off-road, which will come in handy with my preferred escape route, which we'll talk about later on. I've seen a few different cars from this mission, the Terminus, the Patriot Mill Spec, and the Squaddy. It does differ from time to time, but the mission remains the same. Head over to this mountain and use the heavy snipers to take down the helicopters. Doing it from this distance won't trigger the mission and at times causes no enemies to spawn. Alternatively, just shoot down the cargo bob with whatever you fancy and deal with the cars that come. It's a motorway sprint home, so just swerve to avoid them and keep your head down. There's an LS Customs right by a clucking bell, so don't worry about damage, it will just prompt you to fix the car before delivery. So next up is disorganised crime. Uh, we've got hack two vans to get the location of the lockup and then go and disrupt the delivery trucks that are there. So for this mission, just hack both vans and don't bother with the outfit. It's totally unnecessary and just wastes time. Once you've hacked those vans, head to the lockup and go inside. Choose a suppressed weapon to quietly take everyone down, making sure to avoid their kind of vision. Once everyone's killed, go to the room at the side of the building and disable the CCTV. Once done, go to the lockers and begin drilling, but immediately come out as two guys will spawn to come and find you. Once you've killed those, return to drilling until you find the key card. Once you've found the key card, pop the pipes off each truck and do not blow them up. If you blow them up, the heist will completely change and you won't be able to do it quietly. Going loud means that a constant spawning of enemies will be there and it really does make it an unpleasant experience. Okay, so assuming you listened to me and didn't blow up the trucks, you should arrive in a box. From here you can quietly take down each enemy, open the shutters and take out everyone in the building one by one. Nobody else will spawn, you should be free to take cocaine, hack the computer and steal the cash. If you decided to live life on the edge and blow up the trucks, you now have to deal with the endless wave of cartel waiting for you. Take them out and push through the building as fast as you can so you can collect all the cocaine. Once collected, more enemies will be waiting for you. 
and you have to hack the computers while killing off the cartel. From here, raid the safe and get going. If you chose to be smart and stay quiet, the cartel won't know you're coming and you should be able to sneak off to the car quietly, allowing for a smooth exit. However, if you're an absolute baboon, they all now know you're coming and will shoot you on sight over and over again. Once you're in the car, baboon or no baboon, you should have the same exit strategy. Follow the railway all the way to this bridge and from there dive onto the motorway. Drive until you reach this hill and from here you will lose the cops by driving across the fields. Once across, you are on the home straight to the lockup and you can swap your drugs for a little envelope that the weird man Vince keeps locked up. As it says, that's all folks. Thank you for joining me on this video. I know it's a little bit less energetic and fun as the usual ones, but someone's got to get that good advice out there on how to get things done right. Anywho, that's all from me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.